Hello, thank you and a very warm welcome to you. Uh, I'm really glad that Mint has decided to do a series on the future of education. Like many other sectors, this is a very important and critical sector for our education right now. So on one hand, while nearly 25 crore of our kids have lost access to schooling for the last two months as schools have shut down and are likely to not have access to school for another one to three months, um, the fact is that also this has given us an opportunity to think about how to reach our kids and how to educate our kids in different ways, in unconventional ways as compared to the past. Um, and like many other sectors, um, we've all turned to digital. So whether it is high-end private schools, whether it is affordable private schools, whether it is schools run by NGOs and even schools run by the government, everyone is thinking digital today. So the question is, what really is happening in the digital space? On one hand, when we look at the macro numbers and we say, oh, you know, 70 to 80 percent of India's population is connected today via mobile phones because someone in the family has a mobile phone and 50 to 60 percent of them are actually connected to data. One would actually believe that uh, digital can reach a number of students, many, many students. Uh, the truth is that that's not exactly true. Today, um, we have helped four state governments, MP, Odisha, Rajasthan, and Jharkhand launch very large scale digital initiatives for all of their government schools. Um, these are obviously lower income households, lower income kids. And what we're basically seeing is that the reach after five to six weeks of launch is nearly only 10%. The reason why the reach is only 10% is for a few uh, for a few reasons. One, uh, while our overall uh, mobile penetration is 70 to 80 percent, when we look at this segment, the mobile penetration is only 50 to 60 percent. Secondly, while our data penetration might be 40 to 50 percent for the population, for this segment, the data penetration is a little bit lesser and is about 35 to 40 percent. Thirdly, the ability and the comfort to use data in this segment is a little bit limited. And fourthly, when you actually start thinking about is education content actually available for these students, for these segments, is education content available in Hindi, is it available in Odia, is it available in Marathi or Kannada, what we find is that the availability of content is very limited. So for every 10 pieces of high quality English content, um, maybe there are three pieces of Hindi content and perhaps not even one um, of a regional language content. So when you build that funnel in terms of how many people in the mass segment really have a phone, have data connectivity, have the comfort to actually use that data, have the desire to use that data and the, and the financial strength to use that data for something like education for their kids, and then is there relevant educational content available, the funnel narrows down pretty quickly. Um, and hence what we're seeing is roughly 10% of the kids actually using digital content today. Does this mean that digital has no future in education? No, actually not. I think when we think about it in a very different way, so yes, we tried to reach out to two crore kids and 15 to 20 lakh are using data. But the other way to think about it is that in a period of four to five weeks, we have gone from zero to 20 lakhs. Uh, five weeks ago, most of these kids, none of these kids were accessing digital data. Today, 20 lakh kids are. What other um, you know, digital or tech company can boast of that kind of an uptake? Very, very few. Uh, what we're also seeing is extremely positive feedback from both the students, parents, and actually also even the teachers on um, the power of digital and the power of digital content. Um, so, you know, if we don't think about just the next two months, but if we start thinking about the next two years or next three years, I can genuinely imagine a very different world. I can imagine our government schools where the teacher just doesn't have a, you know, chalkboard and a chalk, but also has a small TV or some kind of a screen whereby she can actually show digital content along with whatever she's teaching in the class. I can imagine a world where when the kids go home, the teacher is also sending digital content to these kids for the topics that they actually revised in school today. I can imagine the teachers accessing digital content themselves to figure out how to teach inside classes better. So yes, I think it is going to take a lot of time. I think it's going to take a lot of training. It's going to take a lot of investments in infrastructure. It's going to take a lot of investment in content. But digital does have a future in education. Digital does have the possibility to finally democratize education in a way that we haven't seen before. It's just going to take a little bit of time.